Hey guys, it's Burger Bears, and welcome back to a FIFA 17 PSV career mode. Oops. Continuing on from the last episode, of which went pretty well. Um, I do want to talk about something. Yesterday, I was supposed to upload a Uncharted video, but I completely forgot. I did record it, it's, I just, for some reason, I completely forgot to upload it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a double upload it's match time. Martin on, and Alan um, Smith, with next Sunday. It, and right? To something special today. That's, that's the fairest way I can think of doing it. The way I look at it is, on PSV Eindhoven. Uh, ready for the action. Sunday, I'll schedule the video I already have to go up in the morning, and I'll record a second video to later. In the for PSV, this is how they'll play today. I think that'll uh, satisfy Nicolas Izima in the heart of the defence, and they'll play with the sole striker. Um, I'm hoping I'm actually very close to the end, so I might be coming to the end very soon. I am I still saw there passing the ball. I do and kind of don't know what I'm going to be doing Shots on. when I finish that. Super stop by the goalkeeper. Play through onto the ball as well. Spotted that well and intercepted. Good through pass. Able to stay on his feet well. Comes in with a tackle. No booking from the referee, just a free kick. I'm I'm thinking of doing the um, GTA games, like I said. Uh, Vice City. Moving forward. Uh, three. San Andreas. That's a serious situation. And on he goes. Yeah. Looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Kind of like... Uh, Possession given away once more. Those those games, um, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really played them. Probably deserved a bit better from it. But yeah, I, I played Sand Rays. I I've only played some of it. I've never like I've only played like the start of three and by study, which yeah, uh, kind of feel like you know. They, they should get their fair the day in the sun. I've, I've already done two playthroughs on GTA 5. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the visitors' tactics, whether they just... GTA the bus. The, uh, 4. So... Chance to get some width into this attack. Comes in strongly. Andres Guadado. Could be dangerous. That's um trying to find a way through here, probing away. That's uh, that's Defended that's the goes. main reason I want to do those games. Is you know, so I can say uh, I've done those games. I don't know how long those playthroughs are going to be because I don't know how long those games are. Probably. What normally happens when I used to play those games, I... PSV with the whenever I used to, Like, 4 was the first GTA I finished. Moreno. Normally what would happen was... With San Andreas, which is probably... By anticipating the pass. Even still, probably the most played GTA game I've ever... The, game, the GTA the game I've played the most, Close even over well. five. Doesn't come in. Good played. defending. And over four, I've also played a bit. PSV Eindhoven. I still have my old school PS2 cheats for my uh, for for San Andreas. That's how much. 
I really enjoyed San Andreas, but not it's for the missions. You know? Wasted cross. I, I more played sand. Like, I would always start San Andreas, but then never really. I play like the first couple of starter missions with the. Uh, with CJ's family, yeah. like whether well, the occasion's getting the better of them, we really expected a bit more so far. And then I get to a certain point, I'd say, you know, what? I'm not bothered. And then just go around killing people, trying to avoid getting busted or killed by cops. You know, the standard GTA stuff. Not really. But um, yeah, that's normally what would happen whenever I play GTA. Okay, so the fact that I actually completed a GTA game in was a freaking miracle. Well, the goalkeeper was absolutely stranded. Sorry, it's a uh, goal gaping. Well, it was an easy um, in the end. The so yeah, expect to get this level, uh, and uh, I'll be hoping to open the scoring one nil here. Like, I'll probably still go. Like, when I, when, if I if I'm ever in need of like relieving some stress, one of the best things I find is to go on to a GTA game and go on a killing spree because, there's one, the people aren't real, so it's not like you're actually killing real people. Well, well, you'd be surprised how many times you see the same. The character model over and over again. Anyway, uh, GT. He, uh, San Andreas. Past his marker. Into the attacking third. And in goes the cross. Done well to get it wide. Not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. Challenges for the ball. I would always kill people in purple because I knew like the rival gang wore purple in in, in San Andreas. <laughs> so like I, I, would, I would kill anyone, but mainly I would go for guys and people in purple. So like an NPC passes by, they're wearing purple, purple. I shoot them fucking dead, or blow them up with explosives. That's that's also fun. Working hard just to see. I don't, I don't know why I'm going really in depth about this, but you know, that's that's what I normally do. That's what I like to do on GTA. And the goalkeeper. Let's be honest. We've all gone murder sprees in GTA. Games. That's why they added Trevor's rampages in five. That's exactly why those were added. I mean, you can shoot fucking aliens from a fucking. Looking for specific missions as both as a as they a, cope with it well defensively and Trevor. I think you can't do it as great place to win it back. I can't remember. And he's in there with a header. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it. PSB with the throw. No, that's a certain one. There's going to have a chance center stage. Franklin? Was it? I can't remember. Is it? No, it was Franklin. Franklin, Michael, Trevor. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, for some reason, Clint was in my head. So that's Franklin's surname. I don't know why I was thinking of his surname over his main, in first, first name. I, 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 whatever. Challenge well. But, uh, Could be dangerous. And he could get away. I remember his one, you know, with the guy who sells you, like, tells you, is trying to legalize marijuana and you, you try it and do it with each character. I think you can, like, me up again with that guy eventually. Still 20 minutes to go. Bounced away from him. That looked dangerous until he made the interception. Good play until they got that challenge in. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Oh, chance! Going for goal! It's bounced back. 
into play from the bar. He's got his shot off now. Good block. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky. It was deflected. Moreno. Oh. To make the header. He's missed the target. So yeah. Normally a better header of the ball than that. Slightly. I can't mid really remember Franklin's like drug. I think it just doesn't really affect him. Nice I know Michael, you shoot aliens. With Trevor, you shoot clouds. In the game for a twist to the tail. I think it like, doesn't really affect Franklin because... And the scenario well, remains the same. The one goal lead. Too drunk for him. And we're into the last ten minutes. At any point, you could like, just go into the front room of his house and... Like his um his uh drugs. Um, I, I was I, I'm not sure why it affects Trevor. I mean, the dude sells. Punched away drugs. by the goalkeeper. And five so, minutes remaining. The dude sells drugs. Yeah, he blocked that well. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. He's clearly on heavy drugs all the time. Which would explain some of his weird cutaways. Or cut twos. Cutaways in the camera. There's some potential in this move. And here's the shot. A great work by the keeper. Court official has indicated three more minutes. You know, I'll... With an interception. That's what that was my first thought when I first saw Trevor in like the GTA trailers. When I first saw what he was, I was like, okay, this guy is like a mix of a South Park and Family Guy character, like balled into one. Very misguided. Crazy drug addict. Violence. Ticks all those boxes <laughs> that you would expect from a character from one of, if not both of those shows. So, um, yeah, that's a thing. Monthly scout. What am I looking for? Am I, I guess I'm looking for a defender. Uh, keeper. Maybe worth having a keeping an eye on. Okay, this guy's terrible. Terrible. His uh, value is. Guadaro didn't really, he, Dado didn't really do anything in, uh, in that game, did he? Again, it was a very stale game with just the one goal. I'll give him another few games in the first team before I decide on whether he's going to stay in as a regular first team player or not. Top three has uh, been restored to something you didn't expect from a 
regular one of the Dutch two front men will season with Feyenoord and, and Ajax. Now uh, seemingly you've uh, gotten over their little uh, bumpy patches at the start of the season. This manager who does like to fill his midfield. For PSV, this is how they'll play today. Hector Moreno starts with Nicola Izima Mara in the heart yeah, of the defence. Stefan El Sharawi starts a midfield. Just one eight. lone striker. Pass. To put them in front. A drawn three. No. PSV with the throw. They haven't lost those games. So that. David Trepper. And it's a headed effort at goal. Yes. Great header from Ramsar. Seven minutes. Lead again. And they'll be feeling they're going Perfect to victory again. start. Such a difficult thing to score. So, uh, the goal in the, last, in the first they game the came the right at the end. So nice the and goal early one goal. One good. Good. Uh, good. Good. Davidson. And uh, what's on my mind, because. It is on my mind. Uh, I want to expend uh, congratulations to any Huddersfield Town supporters. If there are any watching me. Yeah, I don't know. This is the World Wide Web. Anyone who can be watching. If you are a fan of Huddersfield Town, congratulations! To get the ball in the box. Um, a a little, that, I, uh, it's easy to cope with. don't look forward to playing well. your team next season because Liverpool always struggle against the the best promoted the teams, or in last season, season case, anyone who was below the number yeah, six the in the league. I'd expect them to do that here. Seriously, we, we we only drop points against United and Chelsea. Other than that, we beat everyone else. We beat Arsenal twice. We beat Spurs. We beat City. Hell, we beat Chelsea. But... Goes in. Anyone below that line? Nah, nah, they don't, they don't give a chance. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Oh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll discuss that more when it comes to my season review, which will be going up uh, soon. I don't know when. Attacking players favour Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes. I think does the window open next month or July? Loss of footing and. The kind of wait. It's hard to really tell sometimes. Sometimes it well, tells me here it opens in June. I think it's supposed to. It's a poor cross, not well hit. Teams are already like signing deals. Like uh, Man City have already signed uh, Bernardo Silver from. from. Um, from Monaco. And they uh, might be getting another player from Monaco. They're, they're apparently signing Emerson from Benfica, but they're for the reported fee I've heard. It's gotta be a fucking joke, right? It was like 45 million apparently for Emerson? Like, I don't know if I have any Benfica fans or Portuguese fans, Portuguese league fans in general watching me, but. Is that guy? Is he? Is he worth forty-five million? Or are Man City just completely goddamn stupid? Uh, like I heard they were paying four million. So, uh, Twenty-three-year-old keeper. You don't really know a lot. I don't really know about him. Like I think he's a bit like a starter keeper. I, I like I, I don't know. I, I've not been watching. The In truth, Portuguese this is what we expected. The dominant side to no sure. Yeah, we don't always get what we expect, but uh, they've been good. I mean, I know the here. player, well. particularly the strikers. If only from C 
seeing him on just why uh, on FIFA to 2-0 um I would looking good this wait. move Maybe maybe it was an error or maybe it was 4.5 maybe that was meant maybe it was meant to be 4.5 But I thought someone would say they were signing him for 4.5 million if they are they are clearly aiming to be, make people think he's better than he is maybe he's that good I don't know but if Benfica had a keeper worth 45 million they would have uh, gotten far in the uh, in the in the uh, well they won the league I'm trying to look at their stats well, the the see who they lead. and the added time will be four minutes 27 games He played this season. Did um, did Emerson? Four yellow cards, one red card. Is the score line at this point? No clean sheets. One man has one. Oh yeah, he's perfect for Man City if he's not getting any clean sheets. <laughs> Seriously, that's that's the league. It's he has three in the Champions League from seven games, which you know that's okay. That's good. Okay, that's that is wrong. He did get well, we'll clean sheets. The, the game. The, the first thing is lying to me, uh, unless it's doing what. FIFA doesn't. The break is definitely on. And here's the shot. The Rams are make it 4 0. We got one clean sheet, two clean sheets, three, four. Well, this says he got yellow in that game. He didn't concede a goal, which is still a clean sheet, regardless of what FIFA will tell you. Two for him on the day. Brazil doesn't matter. Clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet. He got a few clean sheets. Why is it saying that he got absolutely none? And it, it is for this season, the 16-17 season. It says he played 27 games, but yet it says he got no clean sheets. He did get some clean sheets. For a good few. Here the challenge is a good one. Yeah, it only has clean sheets down for the game in the turn pass. In, um, a lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper. In like the champion boy. So he did get clean sheets. I, 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 I seriously. Just because a team. Player got a yellow card. That doesn't mean that your keeper did not get a clean sheet. A clean sheet. I would define as: Did he concede any goals? No. Yes. 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 If no, then he got a clean sheet. If yes, then he didn't. Simple as that. None of this. Oh, a player got a yellow card. Which had absolutely nothing to do with the keeper. He doesn't get a clean sheet. What? No. So, if a if a striker gets a yellow card, then the player doesn't get a clean sheet because that is utter bullshit. If that's the case, then absolutely no keepers in the Premier League would have gotten a clean sheet because there's not... There are, like, you could probably count the number of games there have been with no yellow cards in the Premier League this season. 
in this gun on one hand, if there were any, which I seriously doubt. Without a single yellow card, go fuck yourselves. I, I guarantee he, he, you could go oh, to any nil-nil game, and if you tell me just because there were yellow cards that neither of those keepers got a clean sheet, he, I will show you a liar. I think I think Coachwell got the most clean sheets this season. I'm pretty sure Chelsea picked up some yellow cards. Hurts. Could make a chance with this tackle. Shot on. I don't know what happened here, but if you tell me they didn't, I'll again show you a liar. Because Kante, he at one point missed some games because he was banned for getting too many yellow cards. It's completely, utterly stupid. Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. It's a quick break. It shoots, and it's a goal here. It's not how the game works. It's a hat trick today. He's really been on form. Okay, it's not. Well, there is a saying that uh, right. things come in threes. They Chelsea's 1-0 win. Oh. Not just three goals, but he's played really well. His overall game has been top class today. Or West Brom. No, that wasn't work. They didn't get your card in that game. Oh, but I guess that's a clean sheet. I guess that's the only clean sheet they got. Time over here, 6-0 now. They didn't get your card in that game either. Game to surprise us. Perhaps only the, the margin that they lead. Okay, here we go. Three yellow cards, but they beat Everton. Three nothing. Kept their focus this side and uh, taking the chances. The yellow cards for Eden Hazard. Diego Costa. Aspiri Cueta. Gary Cahill. That's it. Thibaut Courtois. Did he can see any goals? No. He got a clean sheet. Well, they've been PSV free kick. I'm trying to see if it well, actually gave him a clean a really sheet. I don't think it did. Um, but he's being substituted now, and I think the crowd, by the sound of it. Quite happy to see the back of him. Yeah. Well, I don't think his fullback will be because he. Oh, look at this! Clean sheets. Sixteen. Today, poor day for him. Sixteen. Mhm. Mm oh, look at this! He's down as getting a clean sheet against Everton. Wait, when the player, when the Chelsea players got four yellow cards, yet he got a clean sheet, and yet. I don't understand. I really don't understand it. So clearly, Eat FIFA runs the Portuguese league, apparently. And they apparently think that rule applies to everyone. I'll be honest with you, this last few minutes have dragged a little bit from where we're it sitting. It makes no sense. Long, long over. It's uh, really, really stupid. Real opening now. The keepers the did not concede a goal. He well, got a clean sheet, regardless of whether they were yellow cards or not. A good one too here in stoppage time. Well, it was a gift. Strikers dream about moments like Like, the only yellow card I could, like, you could argue is if the keeper himself got a yellow card for some reason. Then you could argue maybe he didn't get a clean sheet, but I still will consider a clean sheet on whether you conceded a goal or not. If the answer is yes, then you didn't get one. If you got a yellow card, that's 
just you got a yellow card, whatever. If you got a red card, or, you, maybe you could say, then you don't get a clean sheet because you got sent off. Like, say a keeper got sent off for conceding a penalty and the game was no all which I think has happened that's great defending there stopping that attack I'm trying to think no that game was it no when he got sent off the game has long been over in truth wait and I'm thinking oh, it's, it's last season I'm trying to think of it was rather one sided wasn't it because of the Capacity of one team to against Swansea. I think it was pretty humiliating for. Can't quite remember what the scoreline was when, when that happened. And this is no help. It just goes back to the to their first game of the season against West Ham. Um, I don't know. But yeah, despite what that stupid stats will tell you, this Emerson guy did get some clean sheets. But is it did did he get enough to warrant forty five million? Absolutely not. Like he he only played twenty seven games. Even if he got twenty seven clean sheets, which he didn't. Well, he he played. 27 games plus 7 in the in the Champions League which is thirty four? Thirty four? Even if he got thirty four clean sheets I don't like you'd have I'd have to see highlights see what kind of saves he made. He like he could have had a quiet game. They could have had a game where Benfica won three nothing, and they had all the possession, all the they were just dominating. Like they could have been playing some chumps from the bottom of the table. I don't know. I don't know how. Like there could have... some. Keepers have games where they ap where they are have absolutely nothing to do because their team aren't in the driver's seat. They do they are absolutely dominant and Yeah. That that happens all the time. Yeah, he gets a clean sheet, but You you can get a clean sheet from doing nothing if if your team are defensively strong enough. But you know, quality of saves would have to come into question on a keeper's value. Like, are they really gonna pay forty five million for a guy? Like, maybe he was pulling off unbelievable saves. Like. Saves that would put Neuer to shame. That would put Oliver Kahn to shame. I would put Pierre Schmeichel to shame. Put all the greatest goalkeepers in the history of football ever to shame him. Like, he saved unsavable shots. He's the best keeper in the world. You'd have to show me that to justify him being worth $45 million. So I'm going to assume it was an error. Or, or typo, and it's four point five or maybe four to five million. I don't know. They're not paying four to five million. I, I'm I'm like unless they're completely utterly fucking stupid, or this keeper is a, a hidden gem gem which absolutely no one is paying any attention to whatsoever. <laughs> Figure like forty five million. Hell yes. Like if. <laughs> Like Benfica are probably four million. Sounds like a fair deal. Even when I'm getting some clean sheets and being a league winner, or because Benfica won the Portuguese league, you'd have to show me the level of
of um the level of saves he made to convince me a keeper is worth forty five million. Anyway, regardless, I'll uh I'll end this episode there because I think uh, I've uh I think I've discussed my point enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm enjoy it. Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new. And until next time I hope you all have a very very nice day. Peace.